Hi friends, it's Miss Meg. So we have a new theme this week. Our theme is going to be bugs. So we're gonna talk a lot about butterflies and how they go from caterpillars to butterflies. And that is the name of our first book, From Caterpillar to Butterfly. <clears throat> Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful, hmm, going to change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. So you can see the caterpillar. And she's looking at the butterflies. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on the leaf. How many eggs do you see on the leaves? I see one, two, three, four, five. I see five eggs. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day, it's bigger and bigger. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. So it's getting bigger and bigger. <clears throat> After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It's almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there's a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. So you can see it hanging upside down here. <clears throat> Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Hmm. What do you think it's changing into? Let's see. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then, one day, during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. 
The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon, our butterfly will be ready to fly. Look at the butterfly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it's a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. The end.